Welcome to East Lansing, Michigan, historic Jenison Fieldhouse, your home to the Big Ten Women's Gymnastics Championships. It's going to be a big day of gymnastics here on the Big Ten Network. Session one will feature Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois, Maryland, Rutgers, and Penn State. Yesterday, a full day of practice, a banquet, awards, you name it, it happened. Today, though, we find out who wins the Big Ten Championships. It's broken up in two sessions based on how they finished in the regular season. For instance, Michigan State, back-to-back -back regular season champions, will be in the evening session. It's Nebraska, Penn State, Rutgers, Maryland, Illinois, and Iowa in session one. The all-around winner can come out of either session, and so can the overall winner. Hello, everybody. Dean Linke alongside Michigan great Olivia Karras. And it's finally here, Olivia, and you can feel the energy. We've been waiting all season for this moment. Jenison Fieldhouse looks fantastic. The athletes are ready. The energy is high. And I just think today is going to be monumental for the conference and the sport. All right, let's go to work. We'll start with the all-arounders featured here in session one. So many incredible all-arounders, but Money Munoz, Karina Munoz from Iowa, has been incredible this season. Career high last weekend, but across the board, nailing these landings for a great finish. Ava Pietrujita has been an underwhelmingly a focused on athlete, but she's so fantastic, incredible on vault and All-American on the event. She's done all around every meet in her career. Nebraska has quite a roster, and Emma Spence is on the top of it. She has a career-high 39.65, but on top of that, she is ace on all four events and looking to make some noise for the Huskers. But finally, Illinois is led by Miss Consistency. That is Abby Miller, the great all-arounder, doing such good work for the Illini. Head coach Natalie Walsh can't say enough good things about her. And Olivia, as always, we have event specialists. Vault is a big one, and these two names are important. Natalie Martin, the freshman phenom from Maryland. Martina Comin from Nebraska, both really hitting their strides this season. If they could find these landings, they'd be big. Uneven bars has a lot of contenders, but these two have near-perfect marks in their career. Cassidy Rushlow competing on the event today for the first time since the Big Fives, and Kinsey Davis, three-time 9975 competitor. She's one to watch. Balance Beam is always packed with talent, but this season these two are certainly front runners. Mia Takakawa, you hear the name a lot, numerous tens in her career, and Ilka Juk, the transfer from Long Island University, coming in with that career high 9975. She is excellent. And finally, a floor party is sure to be had. Mia Towns from Illinois has been great this year, coming back on the event after an early injury, and Imani Herring, man, watch that routine. That is a show stopper. There was some heartbreak for Rutgers yesterday at practice. It's never easy to see an athlete go down. In particular, Rutgers senior Emily Lees. It absolutely gutted me to see her go down on floor with an injury, but she was all in high spirits, still contributed to yesterday's press conference, spoke so eloquently about the team, about the passion, energy, and they will certainly be able to replace her spots this evening. And it is the four ring circus that we love as Nebraska will start on the vault, Rutgers on the bars, Maryland on the beam, and Larissa Libby's Iowa Hawkeyes will start on the floor. Penn State and Illinois will have the bye here in the first rotation. Larissa Libby, the longtime head coach, now her 20th season for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Back and ready to go. Brett Nelligan replaced his father, Bob Nelligan, 15 seasons. They'll make it to the regionals again. Heather Brink, who scored a perfect 10 during her time at Nebraska, former NCAA champion as an athlete, the head coach of the Cornhuskers. Umi Celine Beasley, who had a 10 on the bars when she was a gymnast at West Virginia, now in her sixth season leading Rutgers. And later on, we'll see Natalie Wash, the head coach of Illinois, and Sarah Brown, the head coach of Penn State. Olivia Karras, always an honor to work alongside you. This is a special day. It always is. And this morning session, while of course you you know you see that teams in the evening have the better records, but this is really exciting that these six teams are here. They're all excited for the competition. There's a lot to prove, and there's a lot of work to be done. 
Michigan State back-to-back -back regular season champs, and they are your hosts. They'll be featured in that evening session that will start here on the Big Ten Network at 5.30. Michigan, 9-1. and one. The Buckeyes, led by Meredith Paula Civic, and the Minnesota Golden Gophers, always consistent. They've got that tandem of Putin and Gertis that we'll look forward to later. Illinois, Nebraska, Penn State, Maryland, Iowa, and Rutgers rounding out the regular season. We'll get things started here. We're going to start with beam and floor on our two box, and we'll sprinkle as many athletes as possible around as you'll see Elise Karenbauer for Iowa with a 9-9 career in season high. 9425. She's just a freshman. And then on the beam for Maryland, it'll be Emma Silverman, a grad student out of New Hope, PA. She's got a 9875 career high in season high and a 98 in her last performance. Emma Silverman on your left, Maryland. Elise Karenbauer on your right, Iowa. I love to see this year that Emma, as you mentioned, Dean, Emma is a fifth year. She's a graduate student. So having her lead off balance beam is really incredible. She obviously has a lot of confidence and her team trusts her. But for Elise Karenbauer to lead off on floor exercise, first event of the night, first routine is just a freshman. High honors from Larissa Libby and her team. Great opening sequences from both athletes there. Triple series from Emma Silverman front through to a double tuck for Elise Karen Bauer. Had a little trouble with that last week, but only scoring a 9-4-2-5, but no issues so far. Good leap combination from Emma. Switch leap into a straddle quarter. All athletes are required to hit 180 degree split on floor and balance beam, so that is her requirement, as you see Elise's requirement there on the right. A small hop on the dismount for Emma Silverman, but a great leadoff performance for the Terps on arguably the hardest event to start on, the balance beam. High fives for the grad student, Emma Silverman for Maryland. First of all for Nebraska, Kinsey Davis, the senior out of Huntersville, North Carolina with a 9-9 career high. She can find this landing. If she could, it'd be a great start for them. A little hop there, but well done as the leadoff performance. As speaking of well done, Elise Karenbauer nailing that last pass slightly low with her chest on the landing, but the controlled lunge was exactly what the judges want for a zero deduction. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights start on the bars. Their leadoff is Jackie Manifold, a junior out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, with a 985 season and career high. Really nice. Amplitude on that opening sequence, a Ray release move directly into the shoot over, hitting her requirement from transferring from the high bar to the low bar. And a unique dismount that's actually a front one and a half, it looked back one and a half, but a Rudy dismount, a little bit of leg separation in the air and a hop forward, but a great first routine for the Scarlet Knights. Layla Hammer on the right side of your Big Ten Network screen, a freshman from Aurora, Illinois. A 9925 career and season high for the freshmen. They'll be back to back freshmen in the beam lineup. Layla Hammer's last performance was a 9625. Opening sequence here from Layla. Her series back handspring layout step out. Well done. Control on the landing. Rock solid there. Beautiful front toss. A little hesitation there on the landing. Had to take a step forward with a slight shoulder dip, but nothing too major. The judges will deduct for a ever so slight balance check. Beautiful leap combination. Switch half, very difficult leap. Her career high, 9925, coming just three beats ago in the Temple quad. Second to go on the bars for Rutgers, Elliot Goldsmith, a freshman from Georgia with a 9775 season and career high. Nice job for Elliot on that opening series. As Layla finishes off this beam routine, just a hop back on the landing, but well done routine. Two hits 
for Maryland as they debut their turtle leotard. See the back turtle shell design. Really great stuff from that program, and the gymnastics complements it well. Second up for Nebraska on the vault, Asia Hall, the junior from Fayetteville, Arkansas, season at career high 9 9. Asia performs the same vault as Kinsey Davis. Yurchenko full. Pretty big hop backward there. She really needed to find a little flat, more of a flat position with the hips that would allow for a less, less of a hop back on the leg. Here's Miss Volpe, the freshman from Pearland, Texas. Did not win Big Ten Freshman of the Year, but certainly worthy. She had a great freshman campaign. Definitely, and her campaign continues today. Ava has been so good for the Hawks this year. Head coach Larissa Libby told me earlier that she's one of those athletes who just doesn't understand how solid she is. She comes in every week, does her absolute best, wants to improve, is asking what she can be doing to improve her score. That is, just as a freshman, that's remarkable. 9.875, her season and career high, obviously, as just a rookie. Ava competes a two-pass floor routine, so she packs a lot of difficulty in these two passes. Finishes it off with a big double pike. Well done. Pretty controlled, th controlled there, a little bit of a foot slide, nothing major at all, but the freshman just continues getting better. Third up for Rutgers on the bars, Myra Daniels, a junior from New Jersey with a 9.825 season and career high, had a 9.8 in her last meet. Myra is newer to this bar lineup, so love to see her earning her spot here, really nice combination there. Line full into a bail handstand. It's unique, she does her Takachev in between the bars. Well done, don't see that as often as we used to, but great height, turnover on the skill, and just the dismount, a double layout, leg separation in the air, and a step forward, which garners an under rotation, so the judges will deduct both for the under rotation and the step. Natalie Martin, the freshman from Westerville, Ohio, 995 already this season. And head coach Brett Nelligan couldn't stop talking about this athlete. He called her an absolute freshman phenom. Said they knew she was going to be talented, but the moment the lights came on and a competition was happening, her energy and confidence went through the roof. Love to see that in this young and talented athlete. Just the dismount here for Natalie. See if she can find the stuck landing. Well done. And I see what Brett was talking about. Great work for Natalie Martin hitting in the biggest moment of her career so far. Isabel Sakon, the freshman from San Antonio with a 9875. Another full twisting Yurchenko here for Isabel. Great job there, excellent form in the air. Just that hop backward on the landing, good work. Just starting on the floor for the Hawkeyes, Hannah Castillo with a 9925 career high, season high of a 9875. We see back to back 9825s to start for Iowa. I love this routine. Hannah really knows how to perform. Great combination there. Saw how she was just a little close to the edge of the floor exercise, did not step out of bounds. Had she done that, there would have been a one-tenth deduction, but no issues there. Good job on those jumps. The switch side with a half twist, really difficult. Just ever so slightly shy of perfectly around, but she finagled it well. for Hannah, finishes his routine off with a double pipe. Solid on both tumbling passes and a beautifully performed routine. 
Maryland Beam, fourth up, Victoria Gatzendorfer with a 9.85 season high, career high of 9.875. Opening series here, a triple series. Two backhands brings into a layout, step out. Rock solid there on the landing. She has such elegant lines. Switch leap into a straddle quarter. Good job making sure she finishes that skill perfectly. Huge height on the left there from Mattis Reigns. Incredible job on bat on excuse me uneven bars really nice floaty pack salto reigns a freshman from atlanta with a 90 season high good job there from mattis just a little bit under rotated on that double tuck but she has been floating in and out of that lineup and i love to see her in that spot in this competition dismount here for victoria the terps are on fire. I don't know if they're wearing their their shell in protection, but they are really doing it today. It's not easy to start on the beam, and it looks like they're ready for it. Speaking of ready, on the left, Karina Munoz with a 9-9 career high and season high. And fourth to go for Nebraska, Chenge Boxkai from Hungary. Our first look at Yurchenko, one and a half, and my goodness, Excellent job by Chenge. She has been incredible this season for the Huskers and well-deserved high fives and celebration there. That was probably the best vault she's done all season and what a time to do it. See the pass there from Munoz. Karina is everything. She is performance quality excellence and the tumbling is ace. On the right, next to go for the bars for Rutgers, Valentina Lorente Garcia with a 9-9 career high set this year. She's a sophomore from Virginia Beach. Head coach Larissa Libby calls Karina Munoz a firecracker. The moment she is given the opportunity to perform and step out there, the lights are on and she is off to the races. Final pass here for Karina. She finishes the routine with the double pike. Oh, just short there on the landing. Unfortunately, has to put her knees down on the ground. So that is a half tenth deduction, which is very unfortunate. That routine so far was great. Just shy on that landing. Nebraska on the left. Tina Comin, the senior from Italy, 9925 career. Same vault we just saw from Chenge with a great landing, the smallest hesitation with that left foot. But I saw her have a little bit of trouble in warm up, and man, did she pick the right time to go lights out on that vault. The Skurs are having a great day so far. Valentina Lorente Garcia. Madeline Komorowski, the sophomore from Pennsylvania, 9925 career season high. Fifth up on the beat for Maryland. As you said, Olivia, Maryland off to a good start. Such a difficult one arm back handspring into a layout step out. Maddie is so elegant on this event. Combines flexibility, grace, confidence all into one. Looks like there's a little bit of a delay happening on uneven bars. Val waiting for her go-ahead. Looks like she just got it, but that is very tricky to be ready to go. The meat moves quick. You have to stand there and wait, as if you aren't already a little bit nervous having the nerves set in. But here she goes, finally, for her uneven bars routine. We're waiting on the score for Mattis Reigns, but now Garcia. Ready to row, see Umi Salim Beasley cheering her on. Great finish to that balance beam routine from Maddie as 
Valentina finishes up here. Double layout dismount with a stuck landing. Talk about grit there, waiting for the judges to give you the go-ahead and nailing a bar routine like that. That's leadership. Fifth to go on the floor for Iowa. Emily Erb, a sophomore from New Jersey with a 995 career high season high. Emma Spence, the anchor for the ball, Nebraska, with a 995 career high. Emma's been set up well by her teammates to go big here. Another Yurchenko, one and a half. And the smallest scooch backward. The Huskers are doing exactly what they need to do to minimize deductions. You saw that landing from Chenge. Pretty much a stuck landing. I would consider it a stick. And her two teammates right there minimizing deductions. Spence about as close to a stick as you can get. Just a little step back, right? Absolutely. Nice leap pass there from Emily Erb. Athlete who really worked hard to get into this lineup. Munoz with a 9-1. That may be the score they drop. Final pass from Emily, her combination pass. Oh no. Really high on that first skill, on that one and a half twist, and just lost the punch a bit. Was supposed to do a front full, ended up doing a front half. You know, sometimes this podium is great, there's a lot of bounce, but the timing on skills can be really tricky when you're not used to competing on it. And honestly, when you're tired at the end of the routine, but covered it well, so good work. Last to go on the beam for Maryland, Josephine Kogler, 9925 career and season high. And we do want to let you know that Box Guy from Nebraska has set a new career high with a 9-9 on the ball. Wow. Nice leap combination there. Switch leap to a straddle quarter. Josephine is so rock solid on this event. Gorgeous position in her triple series. Two back handsprings to a layout step out. She's one of those athletes that if you put in slow motion, there's still no deductions. Everything is so good. Good save there. Switch leap to a split jump. Noticed her balance check in between those skills. Needed that connection, so did well, making sure she connected those two skills, but the judges will deduct for the wobble. But a stuck landing to leave the judges on a high note for Josephine Kogler, and six for six routines for the Terps on balance beam to start this meet off. Back to the bars and runners, Avery Balzer. She is the senior from Carroll, Ohio, who set a new career high this year of a 9.95. Avery is incredible on uneven bars. So good with her technique. That pack is also done beautifully. Iowa head coach Larissa Libby's daughter, the sophomore Bailey Libby, with a 9-9 career high set this year. A beautiful double layout there from Avery, just under rotated, so deduction there for the under rotation and the hop, but a great finish for that Rutgers bar rotation as Bailey Libby knows how to perform, that's for sure. Not only performed, she's scored a 9-9 four times this season. So she is not shy to 9.9 .9 scores. Her mom, big time gymnast at LSU and for Canada. Great leaps there for Bailey. Olivia, she's really dealt with that pressure of having your mom as the head coach really well. And I think it's formed a even tighter bond for those two. 
Finishing off with a Rudy dismount, a little bit of a large lunge backwards. She really worked to keep that front foot down to avoid a larger deduction, but I love seeing her in that anchor position, a well-deserved spot for her, and hyping up the crowd as they finish their first event. Session one is done. Penn State and Illinois will join the fray when we return. The Big Ten Women's Gymnastics Championships on the Big Ten Network. The Big Ten Women's Gymnastics Championships on the Big Ten Network is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. What team deserves that trophy? We will know at the end of session two. This is our first team, all Big Ten. Four Michigan State Spart Spartans, three Michigan Wolverines. That was announced this week. And these incredible athletes, here's the second team, all Big Ten. You see a lot of Terrapins on there. Few other of the Michigan athletes, Michigan State athletes, I mean, all season long, putting it out there to get their teams where they need to go. And arguably my favorite award of the night, the Big Ten Sportsmanship Award, given to the student athlete on each team who really embodies culture, cheering, and energy. And, and these women really deserve that. Sarah Brown from Penn State off the bye. Natalie Walsh from Illinois will feature in the second rotation when we return. Welcome back to the Jenison Fieldhouse, your home to the Big Ten Women's Gymnastics Championships. These are the scores in the first rotation. Nebraska starting on the vault and has the early lead. I don't even think these scores reflect Nebraska's great work on vault today. Specifically, Martina Comin and Emma Spence, both incredible work minimizing those deductions, but big kudos to Chang'e Box Guy for that 9-9 career high tying score. Uneven bars, shout out to Valentina having to wait there while the judges are figuring out all of the scoring. It's really difficult to do that. And the 9-7 does not reflect how important that routine was for Rutgers. Maryland rock solid on beam and a little bit shy of perfection there on floor for Iowa. This is Natalie Wass, seventh season as head coach. Her story is a special one, moving up from D3 to D2 to D1 and has found a home in Illinois. She's also written a book as well called Enough that you need to check out. And here's Sarah Shire Brown, head coach of the Penn State Nittany Lions, also in her seventh season, Olivia. Spent one year at Michigan, I think when you were there, right? I was a freshman, loved seeing Sarah make her way back into the Big Ten in this head coaching position and big fan of all of these head coaches. This session is packed with talented people at the helm and we got to hear from them yesterday at the press conference just about how important it is to lead these young women, not only as athletes, but as people. And I think it's really important for viewers to know that, that that's the main goal here. Gymnastics is secondary to making sure that helping women in sports get out into the world and feel comfortable and it's great. Well said. Rutgers will start on the beam. Just saw Penn State, we'll see him again. They will begin on the bars with Johansson, Johnston, McGilligan, named the Big Ten Freshman of the Year. Galantine, Piet Rahita, who I thought was really good at the press conference yesterday, and Rushlow. We start on the floor for Illinois on the right side of your Big Ten Network screen and on the beam for Rutgers as it's Katie Koopman with a 9-6 career high. Meanwhile, Ward, a sophomore from Frisco, Texas with a 9-8-7-5 career and season high. This is a big moment for Katie Koopman, as we mentioned at the top of the show, the unfortunate injury for Emily Lease. She is usually the balance beam leadoff. So talk about having each other's backs for Katie Koopman to get the call, go not only in beam, but in the leadoff position, setting the tone for this team is really big nod. Opening sequence there from Arielle Ward, combination pass, great job. Received lots of kudos from Natalie Walsh on her incredible leadership and development as an athlete, really crucial for this team this season, putting in the work to do, to do just that. Koopman, a grad student from Hawaii. The 
control there on her jump series. Nice double tuck for Arielle Ward to finish off that routine and a stuck landing for Katie Koopman, stepping in for her senior to get the job done for the Scarlet Knights. Here comes Jessica Johansson for Penn State on the bars. The junior from West Hartford, Connecticut, 9825 season high, 985 career high. Nice opening handstand for Jessie. Into her release move into Kachev, single bar release. Would love to see her get just a little bit more height on that skill, but no height issues on the Pac Salto transition. The job working through that half turn. She was a little bit over made sure to remain square in her body to minimize deductions. Let's see if she can start them off with a big stick. Ah, just that hop forward, but a great leadoff performance for the Nittany Lions in their opening rotation. Just a little hop. She might have a chance to take a look at that 985. Gianna Masilla with a 99 career high, first to go on Iowa. Gianna opens up with a full twist in Yurchenko. Smallest little hop backwards, but that's exactly what the Hawks needed after a floor rotation that's usually so strong for them. They were just a little bit off today, but talk about something they needed right there. Maddie Johnson just got on the bars for Penn State, senior from Boyd's, Maryland, 9-9 career high. Beautiful Maloney to Bale connection. Well done for Maddie. Line full into the double tuck to a stuck landing. That is a perfectly controlled landing. No questions asked that that is stuck. And Maddie Johnston, man, she's been great this year. Abby Miller featured by Olivia Karras to start the show. Ready to go on the floor with a 9-9-5 season and career high. The senior from Rochester, Minnesota. Abby is such a leader in and outside of the gym. She has the energy, she has the spark. Coming up with her combination pass, run through to a double tuck, a little bit of a bounce there, but she did a nice job of minimizing it as much as possible. Leah aired with that candlestick mount, the 985 career high. By the way, Koopman just set a new career high leading off for Rutgers, special story. Nice. Abby having an absolute ball on floor exercise. So Leah Aird opening up with her back handspring layout step out, great height on that layout step out skill. Final pass there for Abby, front layout to a front full, her combo pass. Finishes up with her jumps there and another spectacular routine from Abby Miller. It is hard not to love Abby Miller. She really, really smiles, right? Sorry, really difficult front twisting gainer full off the side of the beam for Aaliyah Aird. She's just been solid for the Scarlet Knights. I love seeing her continue to improve and impress. Hannah Castillo. Looks Eight. like it's actually Marissa Rojas. It looks like they made a last minute change. Nice job on that full twisting Yurchenko. Haven't seen her in the lineup much at all, but I love to see how they're using their depth in these moments. Freshman of the year, Kalia McGilligan, 985. Season high for the Nittany Lion. Named last night the Big Ten Freshman of the Year. And that was potentially one of the most impressive things I've seen in a long time. Maloney barely caught the bar, hanging on by her fingertips. And just as a freshman figures out how to make it work, to not fall off the bar, continue this routine. A small hop on the landing. You could tell by her face that it's not what she wanted. She's an absolute perfectionist, but that's why she's the Big Ten Freshman of the Year. She can think on her feet like she's a senior, like she's a veteran. It's so unbelievably impressive. 
Allie Morgan, floor for Illinois, the senior from Columbus, Ohio, with a 9.875 career and season high. Nice double tuck opening up for Allie. Such beautiful lines. Really nice and difficult jump combination from Allie Morgan at Torsha Tain to a wolf one and a half. Lots of moving pieces there to get the difficulty needed. Start from a 10.0. Front layup to a front full. A little bit of a step sideways, a step forward, and a forward moving skill is allowed. But just a little step over. The judges will likely deduct for a direction, but nothing major. Another great routine for the Alina. Mattis Reigns on the beam for Rutgers. Mattis has exquisite lines. Her toe point is beautiful. The way that she works beam is very Nastia Lucan-like for any gymnastics fans out there. Avery Chambers, Iowa, after Marissa Rojas had a 9-8, which Masilla also had a 9-8. Big fault here for Avery for twisting your Chanko. Big hop backward there, but beautiful job with the execution in the air. She really has that perfect flat body position, exactly what the judges want to see. As Mattis Reigns is continuing this elegant routine, that front aerial. And absolutely stunning on those jumps. Over split, taking her eyes off the balance beam. Great work. Valentine on the bars for Penn State on the right side, 995 career high. Good job here for Gabby, a little bit off on that half turn, but she's working through it well as Mattis Reigns finishes an incredible balance beam routine. And a hop backward for Gabby Valentine, but I love to see her in this lineup transfer a couple years ago from Florida. It's just been such a bright light for this Nittany Lion team. Back to the floor we go. And talk about someone stepping up. Aaliyah Byrne from Illinois came into this season ready to roll. And she has been great all year. An opening difficult two and a half to a front pike pass. So impressive. Byrne, a sophomore from Frisco, Texas, with a career and season high of 9.95. Gabrielle Dildy on the left, on the beam for Rutgers, the freshman from Virginia Beach with a 9.85. She has truly been such a breakout athlete this season for the Scarlet Knights. And Coach Umi Selene Beasley did not, could not say enough wonderful things about Gabby Dildy, just that she has come out of her shell and has been so crucial for the team in so many different ways, particularly on this event. Final pass for Aaliyah Byrne. Little bit shy of that perfect landing, had to lunge forward on a backward skill, so that is the under rotation, as well as the step deduction. But check out that stuck landing by Gabrielle Dildy. She truly is making a name for herself, both as a Scarlet Knight and in the Big Ten. Elise Karenbauer, the freshman from Pennsylvania with a 9.825 season high. Moments ago, her teammate, Ava Volpe, the freshman from Pearl Land, Texas, with a 9.85 career high. 
Ava has really been able to consistently stick this vault and the smallest hop backwards so close to that stuck landing. But again, a freshman who just gets it. She knows how to do this and how to find that landing. Now at least Karen Bauer. Competing a big Yurchenko full. She's capable of doing a one and a half twist. So that's likely where you saw that backward momentum movement. So unfortunately not seeing her stick that landing as we've seen before, but a big vault. Caden Fitzgibbon on the right for Illinois, the junior from the state of Illinois with a 9.925 career high. Jackie Manifold getting ready to get on the beam for Rutgers with a 9.9 career high. Beautiful front layout to Arudi on floor for Caden. She's one of my favorite floor athletes. Such sharp and intense dance, such a different style from what we've seen already from Abby Miller and Aaliyah Byrne and Arielle Ward. So I love that difference in technique and style within lineups. Beautiful back handspring layout step out. And a big double pike there from Caden Fitzgibbon on the right. As Jackie Manifold continues this rock solid routine. Side aerial finishing in a perfect controlled lock. Lovely jumps there. Split jump to split three quarter, perfectly hitting 180 degrees. Penn State, Ava Piedrahita, the sophomore from Maryland. Fifth to go for Coach Brown at Penn State, 9-9 season at career high. Talk about Ava Piedrahita hitting every single competition in the all-around. That is so unbelievably impressive. As Jackie Manifold finishes up her routine, that is five hits for the Scarlet Knights on balance beam. And talk about hits, check out this Great bar routine from Ava Pietrakita. Just a little off on that landing. She can usually get that stuck landing. Kendall LaPlante, last to go for Iowa as Rena Munoz was a late scratch. Kendall is... Oh, no. Looks like her hand just slipped on the ball. Wasn't quite able to get the block she needed in order to do the full twist, thankfully safely landed so that's really positive but you know she's coming back from an Achilles injury and vaulted last week in the exhibition and was absolutely incredible and so a uh, bummer for her but I'm um, really glad that she is walking and okay. Nia Towns the grad student from Texas with a 995 career high coming off a 9925 just last week which is her season high. This is an absolute show. Mia Towns knows how to get this place rocking, that's for sure. Pass here. Front double twist, sees where the end of the floor is, stays inbounds. Veteran move. It's given with a 9 9 on the floor. That's a season high for her, just under her career high. Some final instructions on the left for Stephanie Zanella. Beautiful one and a half to a front full. Stephanie Zanella mounts the beam for Rutgers. Split jump to split ring for Stephanie on the left. As Mia Towns has this place going crazy for that floor routine. That is certainly a routine that will be in contention for the Big Ten title. A little wobble there from Stephanie. Great composure as she brings it back to her center and continues the routine. Cassidy Rushlow 
the grad student back for the fifth year with a 9975 career high, season high, 9925. Huge straddle Jaeger directly into the shoot over. I mentioned earlier, this is her first routine back in the lineup since the Big Five competition. Two dismounts at the same time. Well done for both. A little bit of a squatty landing there for Cassidy and had to hop forward, but she's been coming back from some foot pain. And so talk about really getting down to it and competing when they needed her. And Stephanie Zanella finishing off an excellent rotation there for Rutgers. When we return, we head to the third rotation. Session number one of the Big Ten Women's Gymnastics Championships. Tuesday, don't miss men's gymnastics when the Huskers and Buckeyes square off in Columbus. Live coverage begins at 4 Eastern only on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. Mad props to the staff at Michigan State setting up on Wednesday to make this place Beautiful and feel like a championship. Clearly the Penn State fans appreciate it as well. Take a look at the numbers on the bottom of your screen as we get ready for the third rotation. We'll be back for that third rotation after we take one more quick break right here on the Big Ten Network. Here are the scores from the second rotation. What stands out to Olivia Karras? Well, Iowa definitely didn't have the vault rotation they wanted, but major kudos to Marissa Rojas for stepping in there at the last second. Ava Volpe nearly sticking that vault. Great work over there. Penn State on uneven bars. You saw that quite a save from Kalia Miguel. Got her score got dropped, but man, is she gritty knowing how to stay up there and do what she needs to do. And kudos to the rest of that lineup as well. Great stuff. Balance beam for Rutgers, I thought was much better than what these scores were Reflect, but I'm just so proud of the work Katie Koopman did stepping in there. And Illinois lights out on floor with that 49.275 so far, the highest event total of the night. Me and Towns and Caden Fitzgibbon back to back nine nines. Truthfully thought they could have been a little bit higher, but what a show. Talk about performance from Illinois. Rain stepping in with a new career high at 9.825 for Rutgers on the beam. Incredible work, and her lines are so beautiful. She really just emulates that elegance on balance beam, exactly what you want to see, and different styles there in that lineup. So I love that we're seeing different ways of working balance beam, but a Mattis Rain's in the number three spot. I like that for Rutgers. Reminded you that there is the evening session at 5.30 with Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, and Minnesota. And these six teams going in the afternoon session, Illinois, Nebraska, Penn State, Maryland, Iowa, and Rutgers. We have seen a team come out of that first session and win the Big Ten Championship not that long ago. The Michigan Wolverines, I believe, did exactly that. Is that right? That's correct. I believe it was back in 2013 uh, 2013 or 14 at Penn State, uh, Michigan winning in that afternoon session. So it's absolutely possible these teams are not out of the running for any of the awards today. It's just all about doing your best gymnastics in this moment, putting it all together as a team. See what happens. So we'll start on the beam. There's Sarah Shire Brown talking to Eva Piedrahita, who was named first team all Big Ten. She has a 9875 career and season high. Meanwhile, Taylor wrecked a sophomore from Milton, Georgia with a 9875 career high. We started on the floor for Maryland. Both of these athletes have been incredibly consistent this season so far. Ava in that leadoff performance on balance beam. You're gonna hear me mention it a lot, but really arguably one of the hardest spots to be in. It's a beam, you really need to set the tone for your athletes. Taylor Beck leading off with a front double twist. Well done in the air there with that controlled lunge forward. Breck with a 9.85 in her last performance. Nice job, both of these athletes. Rock solid series there to start the routine for Ava Piedrahita. And great work 
on that double tuck by Taylor Reck on the right. Nice side aerial, solid work on balance beam. Both athletes completing their required jump elements. Getting perfect 180 degree split. And final piece of gymnastics for both athletes here. Taylor Reck finishing off with her combo pass. And Ava Pietrohita with that round off one and a half dismount. Both excellent leadoff performances. And the energy can only build. <laughs> Pietrohita with some proper handshakes there with her teammates, having some fun. She was part of yesterday's press conference session. Here's me and Takakawa, also a first team All Big Ten selection this year with a 9 9 career high. Good job there from Mia, a little short on that landing, but she manages not to move her feet as Chenge Boxkai on the right with that stuck landing on the double layout in the leadoff performance. Coach Heather Brink is so impressed with her work that she's put in to be not only in a couple events, but an all-arounder for this really deep and impressive Nebraska team. And I've been waiting for her to stick that landing, and there it was, right when she needed to. Pretty good chance we'll see her in. Paris representing Hungary. This is Ashley Mall, the freshman from Spring, Texas. Inserted in the lineup for Penn State. They're 22nd in the nation on the beam. We were talking with Coach Sarah Brown yesterday. She said, my beam lineup, the first four are freshmen and sophomores. So talk about the impressive work from these youngsters, not to mention the confidence and trust that Sarah and the team have in freshmen and sophomores. It's really impressive. Whitney Jenks on the high bars for Nebraska. Another freshman from Madison, South Dakota with a 9-9 career high. Beautiful series there from Ashley. Nice job, Ray directly connected to a shootover for Whitney. Good final handstand on the high bar. See if she can follow suit from her teammates, stick this landing. Well done! The Huskers put glue in their coffee this morning. Great work by the freshman in her first time experiencing the big stage at the Big Ten Championship. Taylor, post trout 9-9 career high on the floor for Maryland. Great work still on the left from Ashley Mall. As Taylor starts her routine with that front through double tuck, just a little over rotated on her first pass, but a great landing there from Ashley Mall. Oster Howe, a senior from Clark Summit, PA. Olivia Coppola, the freshman from Union, Kentucky, with a 9.85 career high. Careful twisting your chanko here for Olivia. Big hop backward there on the landing. Won't quite be her career high of a 9.85, but a really solid vault for the Illini. As Taylor Osterhout finishes off on floor with that double pike. Big lunge back, but did her best to control as much as possible. On the left, Clara Colombo with a 9-9-2-5 career high, the senior for the Cornhuskers. Now this routine is museum worthy. Absolute difficulty to the max. The height on that Jaeger out of an eagle grip, so difficult. A little bit short there on the pack Salto, but really good job maneuvering that. On the right, as we've said a couple times, the Big Ten freshman of the year, Kalia McElligan with a 9-9 career and season high. And another stuck landing over there for Nebraska. They are truly putting on a clinic for stuck landings on dismounts. Bravo to the Cornhuskers. Let's keep those six going over there. Rhea 
LeBlanc going for Maryland with a 9-9 career high. Beautiful front double twist. A little bit of an awkward landing there, but good job taking the lunge forward that she is allowed to do. As Kalia finally gets the nod and is able to start her balance beam routine. As just a freshman, I, I talked to Sarah earlier, she told me that Kalia and Ava of Hita just go into the gym, they do their work, they don't ask for any modifications, they just go in and get the job done to the best of their ability in order to perform for their team. That opening triple series, really difficult, a little bit off, but a veteran move. Really settle into the balance beam, not overcorrect. Switch leap straddle corner is her jump combination. Final pass here for Rhea. Front one and a half called a Rudy. Dismount here for the freshman of the year. One and a half, hop forward on the landing. Not the perfect sticks we're seeing over on bars for Nebraska. So Penn State really has to calm down a bit here, find those landings, but three solid routines already. Mia Towns, as you see the scores. Takakawa, 975. Mia Towns with a career high of 9925. Just her second meet doing the one and a half. Well done, just that little hop forward. She's fired up and rightfully so, coming back from being out earlier in the year and bringing the difficulty. I love to see it. Emma Simpton for Nebraska. Colombo with a 9.85 right before her. Emma has beautiful lines on this event. Nice job. And that entire sequence, Maloney to Pac Salto, half turn. Back to the high bar for her handstand. A little shy of handstand there, ever so slightly. Dismount here, a double layout. And just a small one foot stepped backward. It was not a hop per se, just that left foot movement, but very minimal deduction that the judges will take. Roski for Maryland on the floor on the right. Monty Heron pairing the sophomore from New Jersey with a 9.95 career high, ready to go on the beam for Penn State. Monty Herring has really found her place in this beam lineup, in this team. Competes on three events, so valuable for the team. As Maddie Komorowski, so elegant on this event. Beautiful switch ring positions. Oh no. And off on that side summy for Imani Herring. Coming off of a big 995 last week, just had her chest down, which resulted in continuing forward movement instead of trying to bring her chest back up find her center of gravity on the balance beam. Nice one and a half front layout there for Maddie Komorowski. Great work as always. Nothing below a 9.8 all season for Maddie Komorowski and I think the streak will continue. Aaliyah Byrne, fourth to go on the ball for Illinois, the sophomore from Frisco, Texas, with a 9.875 career high. So full twisting your Chanko here. Starts with a 9.95. The smallest hop backward, really minimal deduction, just a scoop as opposed to something larger, like a bigger hop. The judges will definitely take note of that for a smaller deduction. Well done. Emma Spence on the bars for Nebraska. She's another first team all Big Ten selection with a career high of 9975. Great scores here so far for the Huskers on bars. Nothing in a 9-9 yet. Using yet very 
intentionally as Emma Spence is the one that can do it. Difficult combination there. See if she can find the dismount. There we go. That will certainly give her a 9.9 .9 if I'm a judge. I can't control what they do, but that was a clinic of a bar routine. Well done. Abby Miller, 9875 career high on the vault. Here she goes for Illinois. Abby Miller, we talked about her earlier. Miss Consistency really knows how to dial this in. And there it is, small pop backward, barely anything, but so solid across the board and bringing the heat for the Illini. Alexa Rothenbusher, 995 career high. Alexa opens up with a difficult whip to double tuck. It's the smallest bounce on that landing, but such a difficult skill to connect a backwards, no-handed back handspring directly into a high double tuck. Rafa Busher, a senior from Fairfax, Virginia. Isabella Salcedo on the beam for Penn State. 995 career high. Oh, good save by Bella. Just off on that backhand spring layout. Looked like she landed with her legs straight instead of absorbing the balance beam. As Alexa Rothenbusher doing such great work so far. She has nine 9.9s this season. So talk about a consistent athlete right there. Perfect controlled lunge and a big smile on her face as she finishes off an excellent routine for the Terps. Bella Salcedo continuing to work through this routine. A front full hop forward. So unfortunately had to really bend on that series. A big wobble that the judges will deduct for. Kinsey Davis, I'm sorry. Good job coming back after the wobble. Kinsey Davis, last of all, on the bars, last to go on the bars, 9975 career high. Beautiful job so far for Kinsey and a great landing there for Ariel Ward. But unfortunately just let go of the bar early for Kinsey Davis over there and was unable to find that stuck landing, find that landing so the judges will deduct for that, but a great par lineup for the Huskers. They already had five hits. That only would have improved their score. Maddie Johnson on the left for Penn State on the beam with a career and season high of 9-9. Natalie Martin, a freshman on the floor, 9-9 as well. She's just a freshman from Westerville, Ohio. Maddie Johnson was so comfortable in this anchor spot. Oh, can't spring layout step out. Solid job. Rothenbusher with a 9 9. Split jump to a sheep jump for Maddie Johnson, taking her eyes off the balance beam. Side aerial there was a little bit off, but managed to land on one leg and bring the other leg a little bit forward, so a great correction there. Opening tumbling pass for Natalie Martin, a full twisting double tuck, a big lunge backwards. The judges will deduct for that, but loving the difficulty here from a freshman. Just that step backward on the landing for Maddie Johnson. So a little bit of a shaky rotation for Penn State. Not exactly what they were looking for. Little bobble there on the landing for Natalie Martin. She needs to settle in, find these landings. Jump connection. Final pass here. 
finishes it off with a big double tuck. That was the best landing of all of them. Perfectly stuck. And the freshman phenom continues to do great things for the Terrapins. Can she top her 9-9 career high? We will wait and see. Brett Nelligan pretty fired up as we move to the fourth rotation where Illinois and Penn State will sit out. We'll be back with more from Jenison Fieldhouse in East Lansing, Michigan. July 13th, the BTN Big 10K returns to Soldier Field in Chicago for the Fantastic 10K and 5K races and tailgate party. Scan the QR code or register right now at btnbig10k.com. Rutgers Scarlet Knights fan base here at Jenison Fieldhouse. These are the scores down on the bottom of your Big Ten Network screen as we get ready to roll into the fourth rotation. And we'll just do that after one more break. The Big Ten Women's Gymnastics Championships right here on the Big Ten Network. After three rotations, including buys, this is where we stand. Illinois with the lead at 98-5, followed by Nebraska and Maryland, then Iowa, Penn State, and Rutgers. I'm loving what I'm seeing here from this Illinois-Nebraska-Maryland battle, all within two-tenths of each other. And then we have Iowa, Penn State, Rutgers. Iowa just off a little bit on floor exercise. Penn State a little shaky on balance beam, but Rutgers is really putting out what they can tonight with the loss of a teammate in warm-up yesterday. It's so difficult. It's hard for the morale. And I love to see that the athletes are bonding together. They're doing their best gymnastics and figuring out what they can put out there as a team. I would say that this Illinois vault rotation was excellent. 49-225 does not give it justice. Such great work. Big kudos to Mia Towns for competing that vault only the second time this season. Uneven bars was great for the Cornhuskers. A bummer about Kinsey Davis there at the end, missing that dismount. But I told you about Emma Spence. I knew she would be the one to get that 9-9 on bars. Penn State, as I mentioned, just a little bit shaky. And I'm loving the work from Ava Piedrahita with that 9-8 in the first spot. Kudos to her for leading them off and getting that score. And finally, Maryland, the Terps put on a show on floor with that 9-9 from Alexa Rothenbuescher. Gives her 10 9-9s on the season. Well done to her and the freshman, Natalie Martin, closing out the rotation with that difficult full twisting double tuck and starting to see what it feels like to be on the big stage as a Big Ten athlete. You see that 9-6-2-5 from Salcedo where she had to hang on not to fall after Herring had hopped off the beam right before her. And that's super important as she knew her score was going to have to count given that Amani Herring went down right before her. And so knowing she had to hold on, even if the routine clearly wasn't going to be one she wanted, wanted, it was great. Nebraska will get things started with a freshman on the beam. As it's Sycon, Isabel Sycon with the cool mount. Love that these last two rotations for the Huskers are led off by freshman Isabel Sycon here in the balance beam leadoff position. Whitney Jenks will see on floor exercise in the leadoff position. So clearly a lot of respect for the freshmen on this team. You see Marissa Rojas on the bars for. Opens up with that nice toe handstand to Ginger. Good final handstand there for Marissa. Right into the full twisting double tuck. Well done for Marissa Rojas as Isabel Sycon is doing great work on balance beam. Nice split position there in the cat leap switch half. Olivia Weir, 9 8 7 5 career season high. Vaulting for Maryland. Opening with a full twisting Yurchenko. Hop backward on the landing, but lots of amplitude there on that vault for Olivia Weir. As a stuck landing comes in for Isabel Sycon on balance beam. Brush it off, girlfriend. That was great. Heather Brink is fired up. 
solid pass from Stephanie Zanella with a 9.85 career high. Saw Stephanie at the end of that balance beam rotation. Lead off on this rotation. Double full, difficult combination there. Done very well with that controlled lunge on the landing. Beautiful switch ring positions. Absolutely textbook work and a lovely ending pose showing off her flexibility and elegance on floor exercise. Taylor Rex, second to go on the walk for Maryland. You're full twisting your Chanko here. Stuck landing for Taylor Rex on vault. After that 9 8 from Olivia Weir, that should be a big score for Taylor Rex. Well deserved. As we saw at the beginning, the Terps are fighting with these teams. I have Annie second to go on the bars for Iowa. Rojas in with a 9675. Good work here for Kaya. On that first release move. Well done. Sophomore from Redondo Beach, California. Just the dismount here. Double layout. Oh no. And an unfortunate ball there at the end of the routine for Kaya Vanny. Just couldn't get her toes up high enough to get that rotation that was needed at the end of the routine. Back to the beam we go. Allie Gard, sophomore from Round Rock, Texas. 9.875 career and season high. Sycon, 9.85 just below her best score. Let's have the back hands for the layout step out series. Oh no and unfortunately off on that series for Ali Gard, which means pressure is going to be on the remainder of the lineup as six athletes compete, five scores count. They will look to drop the score for Ali Gard. Avery Balzer, second to go for the senior from Ohio for Rutgers. Well done on that opening pass for Avery. She is stepping in here for Emily Lease. So this is a really special routine for her, a big moment for the team. Split jump and a half twist for Allie Gard. Difficult starting sideways on the balance beam. Bowser's career high is a 9-8. I love this combination from Allie Gard here. So difficult. Side aerial directly into the switch lead split jump that very often. Really unique. Gator Pike off the end of the beam with that step backward. Definitely not the routine she wanted, so that is the score the Huskers are going to want to drop. And shake it off and keep moving forward as Avery Balzer is doing great on floor exercise right now. here for Avery Balzer, finishes it off with a front one and a half twist, large lunge backward. The judges will deduct for the over rotation, but going in for Emily Lease is really special. Kudos to her. Ilka Juk, the Canadian 9.825 season high, 9.875 career high. Josephine Kogler ready to go with a 9.9 career high for Maryland. Good job working through that half turn for Ilka on bars. Full twisting your chain go. Just a hop for both of these athletes. Hop backward. There will be an over rotation as well as the hop deduction, but very clean vault for Josephine Kogler and an elegant bar routine for Milka Jack. Over to Beam, Nebraska, third up. Box Sky with a 9 9 career high set this year. Still waiting on the score for guard. Chenge, we talk about her when she competed 
Uneven Bars has just figured out her space in these lineups this season. Received that career high 9-9 last week. Just climbing in everything she does. This is the moment that the Huskers could really use that score. Triple series. Two back handsprings, lay out, step out. Now that was quite impressive. It looked like she had a little bit of a hesitation in between her two back handsprings. So to land that as well as she did with just that leg raise, well done. Emma Silverman on vault here, competing a difficult vault we see. Wow! A full on pipe off 10 0 start value. The only one of those in the competition and a stuck landing. An incredible work there for Emma Silverman. Wow, I've been waiting for that all season. Maya Jones for Rutgers. 9 9 career and season high on the right side. Box guy stuck it. Well done, Chenge Box guy. He saw that leg raise early on in the routine, but she knew with Ali Gard falling right before her, she had to hang on. And she did just that. Front layout to a one and a half to a Rudy for Maya Jones. Great height on that second skill. Maya Jr. from McKinney, Texas. Final pass here for Maya Jones. Combination pass. One and a half to a huge front layout. Great routine by Maya Jones for Rutgers. The freshman Volpe with a 9.85 season high. Now on the bars for the Iowa Hawkeyes on the left hand side. Nice pipe Jaeger there for Ava to open up the routine. A bail handstand transition from the high bar to the low bar. Alexa Rothenbusher on the right side from Maryland. Well done bar routine there for Ava Volpe as Alexa Rothenbusher. A Sukahara with a full twist, so difficult. Again, the only one we're seeing in this competition at 10-0 start value. So kudos to the Terps for bringing the difficulty on ball. Asia Hall on the beam, the junior from Fayetteville, Arkansas, with a season and career high this year of a 9-9. See that 9-7 there from Chenge. Again, not the score that she wanted, but you see the 9-1 before her from Allie Gard. She had to stay on the beam. Big series here, back hands bring way out, step out. Little bit of a dip with the shoulders, but stayed really tight in her body. Beautiful front aerial, so well done. Split jump to a split ring. Gorgeous position in the air. Gianna Masilla now on the bars for Iowa with a 9.875 career high. Opening Jaeger release move from Gianna and a stuck landing from Asia Hall. They needed that over on balance beam. <laughs> Love to see the excitement right there from the Huskers. As Gianna Masella finishing it off with that big sky high double layout, the smallest pop forward, but she's only improved this season in her bar work. aired on the floor for Rutgers. Beautiful job there on that double pike skill. Really open body position. Almost looks like she could probably do a double layout. Good control on the landing. She has a different level of intensity about her, doesn't she? I like it. Yeah. Good jump combination there. Switch half to a straddle full. Pass 
front lay to a front full. Good control on that lunge forward. Exactly what the judges are looking for. Leah set her season high, 985 in the last meet. Still trying to chase down that career high of a 99. Final pass for Aaliyah Aird, finishing it off with a double tuck. Good job, big lunge there on the landing. She really worked hard to keep that front foot down to show the judges that she had control. But another hit routine for the Scarlet Knights. Last vault for Maryland, Natalie Martin, the freshman from Westerville, Ohio with a 9-9-2-5 season high. Another 10-0 start value vault here. For the Terps, this is a Yurchenko one and a half. Just the smallest hop forward for Natalie Martin, but that is a big time rotation for Maryland that is certainly going to keep them in the running for this competition. Emma Spence on the left for Nebraska with a 9.925 career high. Hello, Castellanos for Iowa. Difficult double wolf turn there from Emma Spence as Ella moving through this routine well, a little shy of handstand there on the high bar, but let's see if she can get the stuck landing. Just that hop forward, a little under rotation as she was moving backwards, so a forward hop just a little under rotated, but a great hit for Iowa. As speaking of hits, Emma Spence off to the races that triple series front aerial, the two back handsprings. So we go back to the floor where Harmony Webster, the sophomore from Georgia with a 9.85 career in season high. Great work from Emma Spence so far in this routine as Harmony Webster with that full twisting double tuck, huge height, controlled landing. Speaking of controlled landing, stuck landing there from Emma Spence. Certainly one of those athletes that will keep things rolling for the Huskers. Lovely job on those jumps. Need a little bit more rotation on that split full at the end of the combination. Beautiful job showing her flexibility as well as her tumbling. Also tying her career high. Final pass here for Harmony. Combination pass, run through to a double tuck. Good job working through that. This had to take a lunge forward instead of backwards. The judges will deduct for that. But the way that she was so sharp in her movement to adjust to minimize the deduction was great work. Nice job. Rutgers Scarlet Knights on the floor. We move back to the beam, last to go. Sophia McClellan. She spends with a 985. I've seen this 9825 and 985 from Asia Hall and Emma Spence just seems low to me. I agree. That great double wolf turn there for Sophie. She's one of those people that can really bring it home here for the Huskers. Remember, they have that fall from Alley Guard. So they need a big score here to knock that out. Back handspring layouts. To, oh, no. And unfortunately, off on that series. It's really difficult to continue through a routine when you had that fall. combination there. Ending in that double stag jump, taking her eyes off the balance beam. Just the dismount here for Sophia. Back handspring, tuck one and a half to that stuck landing. So an unfortunate fall there. That means that the Huskers are going to have to count a fall, which is not what they wanted to do. Gabrielle Dildy, the freshman from Virginia Beach, Virginia, last to go for Rutgers with a 9-9 season high. And she is one of those athletes who 
has stepped up tremendously for the Scarlet Knights this year. Coming up with the front through to the double tuck. Beautiful job on that opening pass. She has the crowd to herself for this routine. It's worth pointing out that when Leaks went down, my superstar, four-time Big Ten champ, Olivia Karras, said that he thought Dilty would have a big day. So far, so good. hurts to have some earth, wind, and fire playing, you know, Dean? Always. Final pass here for Gabby Dildy. Double pipe, perfect control. Well done for Gabby Dildy stepping up today doing what she needs to do, and that routine was excellent. It should certainly be rewarded as such. Fifth rotation, Maryland and Nebraska will sit out. Rutgers goes to the vault, Illinois to the bars, Iowa to the beam, and Penn State to the floor. Rotation five. Later today, the 2024 Big Ten Women's Gymnastics Championships roll on as Michigan, Michigan State, Minnesota, and Ohio State compete. It's sold out, folks, and live coverage continues tonight at 5.30 Eastern only on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. As the Buckeyes hoping to sneak up on Michigan and Michigan State, Minnesota might be thinking the same thing as Michigan State with back-to-back -back regular season titles. This is always Michigan time as well. See the scores on the bottom of your screen as coming up is the fifth rotation. Maryland and Nebraska will sit it out. Rutgers will be back on the vault, Illinois on the bars, Iowa on the beam, and Penn State on the floor. These are the scores in the fourth rotation. What stands out, Olivia? Great vault rotation for Maryland. The scores just don't show it, in my opinion. But that suck vault from Emma Silverman, so well done. Alexa Rothenbuescher with that great Sukahara full, and Natalie Martin closing them out with the Yurchenko one and a half. Iowa had a little bit of a shaky bar rotation, but a highlight is always Ilka Juk. For me, she's just so elegant on the event. Looking forward to her on balance beam on. Balance beam for Nebraska, a rough rotation for them. They started off strong with Isabel Sikon and then Chenge a little off, Asia Hall, Emma Spence come back great. An unfortunate fall for Sophia McClellan leads them to count a fall. And finally, floor exercise for Rutgers without their leader, Emily Lees. They come out with a big 49-2-2-5. Stephanie Zanella starting off great and a big kudos. Gabrielle Dildy with that 9-9 in the anchor spot, well deserved. So here we go to the fifth rotation. It'll be break time for Maryland and Nebraska as you take a look at Abby Miller. She's in the all around competition. Abby Miller set her career high this year on the bars at 985. Take a look at the all-around standings. Remember, whoever ends up the leader This last rotation, they'll be on uneven bars where they could really put up a big, big number there. They end on bars and beam. So really finding their stride here in the end, see if they can edge out the remainder of the competition. But right, right up there too, Maryland, man, they are putting on an absolute show and doing such a great job across the board. I'm excited to see them in 
final rotation on uneven bars of the night. But first, it is time for Iowa on beam, Penn State on floor, Rutgers on vault, and Illinois on box. We talked earlier about the fact that Michigan, we think back around 2013 at Penn State, was part of the early session and they won it. We've also seen all around champions come out of the first session as here comes Abby Miller on the bars with a 985 career and season high. Nice first handstand there for Abby as she goes into her straddle Jaeger release move, good amplitude. That, well done, Bale handstand keeping her legs glued together. Let's go back up to the high bar. Good job working through that handstand, just the dismount here, double layout. The smallest hop forwards. The judges will deduct for the hop as well as the under rotation, but a really great solid start for Illinois. Ashley Maul, the freshman from Spring, Texas, 9.875 season high. Opening up with a big double pike. Good control on the landing there. Look at the flexed feet within the double pike skill, the controlled landing. Volpe on the beam for Iowa with a 9.85 season high. Another freshman in the leadoff position, unbalanced beam, so impressive for these athletes to have their team feel so comfortable and confident with their work on balance beam to be first in the lineup. It's up with her series back handspring layout step out. Did a great job staying tight in her body. Difficult leap combination there for Ashley Mall. Ankle will be good work there. Strata Porter, a little bit of chest down. Nice job bringing herself back to her center of gravity, and that was rock solid. Cat leap, front aerial. Speaking of rock solid, final pass from Ashley Mall. A great leadoff performance for the Nittany Lions. Ground off, tucked. One and a half twist with a little bit of a hop, but that's a hit for Iowa in the first spot. Destiny Denning on the right for Illinois on the bars. Valentino Lorente Garcia, first vault for Rutgers with a 9.825 career high. Nice routine here for Destiny. A little bit of leg separation in both those skills there. A hop back on the landing for Valentina. I saw her drill that in the warm up, so I was really hoping that it would happen again. But a stuck landing for Destiny Denning on uneven bars. Good job working through a couple of little form issues throughout the routine, but the stuck dismount is an exclamation point. Some final instruction for Alexa Ebling. 9875 on the left for Iowa. Alyssa Kramer hits the floor. The freshman from State College with a season high of 9-9. Six, nine, eight, seven, five this year for Kramer. A nice opening pass there. Front double twist to a punch front. A little close to being out of bounds, but manages to stay in bounds to avoid that one-tenth deduction. Nice correction there from Alexa Ebeling. Back answering layout step out. Just looked off on the landing. Saw that her upper body just bent a little bit over. But again, used her core to bring herself back to her center of gravity. Nice side aerial for Alexa. So elegant in that skill and in this routine. Lots of moving pieces there. Switch leap to a split jump into a split three quarter. Just a little shy of split on that first leap. The second two were excellent. The stuck dismount there for Alexa Eveling as Ashley, excuse me, Alyssa Kramer 
finishing off with that huge Rudy to a layout step out. So floaty in that skill. So Ebling, we'll wait and see if she can top her season high of a 9.875. On the left, Amelia Knight for Illinois. Now this is Katie Koopman, who is, she's gonna tie her career high right here. Good ball for Katie Koopman. Stepping in again for Emily Lees, doing such a great job the team player there as Amelia Knight, such a great athlete. Natalie Walsh is a big fan of hers and a huge double layout. Pop forward on the landing, but the amplitude she has on uneven bars is remarkable. See Miguel get, getting ready on the ride for Penn State. Rojas into the lineup for Iowa. Leah McGilligan, you know, you mentioned Dean being the Big Ten Freshman of the Year, so well deserved. She competes like she's an upperclassman. It's so remarkable to see how she's figured out college gymnastics in such a short amount of time, and really, you know, peaking later in the season, earning that well-deserved award for her work as a Nittany Lion. Series here for Marissa Rojas. Two back handsprings into a layout step out. Oh no. Unfortunately, off on that skill. So that is a fall for Iowa, which means the remainder of the lineup will really need to hit in order to remove this score. A little bit off there on those jump connection. Two switch leaps. The first switch leap had a little bit of a shoulder dip. Fortunate deduction moment there, but just the dismount for Marissa. Gainer full with a hop forwards. That is the routine that Iowa would like to drop. So it's up to the remainder of the lineup to make that happen. A delegate with a career high 9 9. Jaden Rabby 9 8 career high. Full twist in your chain point here for Jaden. Beautiful lines on that ball. Just that hop backward is what the judges will deduct for the over rotation and the hop. A good job there for Kalia and her opening pass on double pipe. Caitlin Ewald on the bars now for Illinois on the left. They straddle Jaeger. Beautiful handstand for Caitlin. Big floaty pack salto down to the low bar. Leaps from Kalia McGilligott. Lovely work. And a nice dismount from Caitlin Ewald. Just that hop backward. The Illini need to start finding these landings a little bit more. They want to stay on pace. This combination one and a half to a front layout for Kalia McGilligott. Elliot Goldsmith, who followed Jaden Raby. Now Goldsmith, the freshman with a 90. Nice job by Elliot. Full twisting your Chenko with that step backward, but Kalia McGilligott, beautiful landing there. Controlled lunge, clean routine. She is quite a bright light for this Penn State team. Here comes Mia Takakawa for Illinois with a 9.95 career high set this year for the fifth year. Beautiful first handstand. Hiked Jaeger, a little bit of leg separation on the catch. But a gorgeous bail handstand, rock solid in that perpendicular position the judges are looking for. Harvard Nick waiting for Iowa on the right. And just that hop forward over there for Mia Takakawa, an under rotation for her. The routine on the bar was pretty much flawless in my opinion, just that hop forward will cost her. Aliyah 
Aird, the junior from Florida, 9.875 is her career high. Another full twist in your Chanko here. Leah gets big height. Great job with amplitude, but unfortunately just a big hop backward, including a step. So the backward momentum will cost her two stepping deductions. Yedra Hida on the floor for Penn State. Opening pass for Ava. Performs full twisting double tuck. Nice job on that lunge back with the smallest scoop back with her front foot, but good control. Head coach Sarah Brown said, Ava is a little quieter, likes to stay to herself a little bit more, but once she breaks out of her shell a little bit and feels more comfortable, you see a completely different person, and it's very unique and special when she does that. And I, I'm seeing her break out a little bit here in this floor routine. I love that. That's why I, I think Sarah Brown picking her for the press conference yesterday was special to draw her out a little more. I thought she was great. Couldn't agree more. Final pass here for Ava. It's her combination pass. A front tuck through to a double tuck. Just that lunge forward, so a small deduction for the under rotation, but a controlled lunge, so the judges should not take that much. But great work, as always, for Ava Piedrahita. Rock on, she says as she heads over to Imani Herring for her floor team. Yep. Gabrielle Dildy, last vault for Rutger with a 9-9 season high. With full twisting Yurchenko here for Gabby Dildy in a stuck landing on that vault. She drilled that last weekend as well. Had two 9-9s last weekend in their double meet weekend, but here we go with that stuck landing. She is definitely finding her stride. Meanwhile, for Illinois in the bars, it's a freshman Leiden Saltness with a 9-9-7-5 season high. Leiden has been incredible on this event, so meticulous in everything that she does. Slightly off on that blind full, but that is a stuck landing on the double tuck. Good hold there on the landing to show control. She has a very bright future ahead of her in college gymnastics. Aubrey Nick, here she goes. Fall there earlier from Marissa Rojas is what they want to replace. Oh no. And another fall, unfortunately, for Iowa on balance beam. Which means they're going to have to count one of these scores. So it is really important for Aubrey to continue through this rotation, through this event. They will want to count her score over the 8.8 .8 for Marissa Rojas. Monty Herring on the left for Penn State, 995. And a nice round off one and a half twist to a stuck landing there for Aubrey Nick, but unfortunately, like Nebraska, Iowa will be counting a fall. See the Penn State scores as Herring fifth in the lineup for Penn State. Check this out, double Arabian. Lunge a little bit over to the left, so the judges will take a direction deduction, but Amani Herring has it all. She has the tumbling, the fun, the performance. Herring with, again, that career high set this year of a 9.95. Nice switch side to a straddle jump to fulfill her jump combination. 
Just can't help but smile watching her compete floor exercises. Yeah, she's it's so, so much fun. fun. Yes. Final pass here, one and a half to a front layout. Her connection pass, excellent control on the landing and great recovery after the fall on balance beam to come back and do that. That's impressive. Way to go to Amani here. Juke, fantastic bout there as Ilka Juk, rather, 9-9-2-5 season high, 9-9-7-5 career high. This is an absolute treat, this routine. Two back handsprings to a layout step out. Rock solid. And Coach Larissa Libby said she's never seen an athlete like Ilka Juk before. Her attention to detail, her focus on everything, not just the gymnastics, the leaps and the, and the tumbling, but the dance. Everything is so well done and well thought out. It's just the way that she works as an athlete. Chuck on the left for Iowa. Bella Salcedo, ready to go on the floor for Penn State. Their career high, season high, 995 for Salcedo. Talk about a performer. Bella Salcedo is the queen of the facial expression. This routine and her personality is everything. I mean, it just shines through here. As Ilka Juk competes back handspring with a full twist. The only one, I believe, in the NCAA right now. Incredibly difficult. I saw that double front mount from Bella Salcedo. So difficult and well controlled. And a stuck landing from Ilka Juk. Her first Big Ten championship. Love to see that for her. Well deserved. Bella Salcedo, her combination pass, front layout, front full, to a front pike, as well done as I've seen her perform it in her career. And that should be quite a big number. Well done. Bella Salcedo. Her teammates ready to greet her after that fine performance. For the Penn State Nittany Lions. stories of today. Yesterday, it was, of course, Lease going down for Rutgers, and then today we saw Rina Munoz have kind of a bad fall. She went ahead and did her first event, but since then she has been taken out of every rotation, and Larissa Libby has had to scramble to makeshift her lineup in each rotation, Olivia, like quickly. It's difficult when you have to make those calls and make those decisions. I'm so happy to see that she is okay. You know, that's what, what matters. I'm so happy that her health is first and foremost, and it's important. But here is Ella Castellanos, never competed beam in the lineup for the Iowa Hawkeyes, and here she is in the anchor position. Oh, no. Unfortunately, off on that two back handsprings into a layout step out, just so difficult. Just wasn't able to find that perfect landing position. 50% of the Iowa lineup had fallen off the right? A little just shaky for them today. And I think, you know, that sometimes things happen when an athlete might go down or it just, it's, it's hard. It's really, really difficult. And it's, you know, 
not what they wanted, and they know that, and we don't have to tell them that. But Iowa is a resilient program. I have no doubt in my mind that this is just a meet that didn't go their way. There's a lot of growth and development coming up in their future. Castellanos, a senior from Georgia. Dismount here, cartwheel to a gainer full, to a stuck landing. So an unfortunate fall there in the routine, but kudos to her. I mean, stepping in at the last minute like that, having that be your moment to do a beam routine at Big Tens in front of this crowd. I mean, kudos to her and nice job. And Iowa's day is done. Rutgers is also finished. We're not done though. We have one more rotation, the sixth and final around the corner. Got here Thursday and then woke up Friday and there's a couple inches of snow on the ground. As the all around story, Iowa's done. Volpe, the leader right now with a 39.2. We'll see who chases down the all around title with just one more rotation to go. The sixth rotation with Penn State on the vault, Maryland on the bars, Illinois on the beam, Nebraska on the floor. Session one, the Big Ten Gymnastics Championships. Welcome back to Jenison Fieldhouse. Olivia Karras, these are the results of the fifth rotation. Rutgers is done with the competition, ended on vault there. Kudos to Gabby Dildy with that 985 stuck Vault. Thought it could go a little higher personally, but incredible work by Rutgers. The resiliency coming out with that 195.4. Illinois was on uneven bars and they couldn't quite find so the stuck landings like they were used to. But Mia Takakawa coming in with that 985 leaning, leading the charge. Unfortunate, only 95 for Light and Salton as she's been near perfection this season. Balance beam was shaky, unfortunately, for Iowa. Highlight though, Ilka Juff, so good and elegant. We are lucky to have her in the conference and see more of her elegance as years go on and then Penn State on floor was excellent those two nine nines back to back from Herring and Salcedo were certainly a show looking forward to seeing them on vault to conclude their afternoon at the Big Ten Championship. Remember Rutgers and Iowa are already done and then tonight Michigan Minnesota Ohio State Michigan State. So we will know what the score to beat is after this rotation between which team comes out on top and then this evening for the best teams, not just in the Big Ten, but really in the country, will battle it out and add to the score pile here to see which team comes out on top. And again, you can win from the afternoon session. It's all about who does their best gymnastics on today only. This is the day that matters. So we'll see what happens this evening. But I'm I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. A lot of consistency and progress, and unfortunately some wobbles here and there. But that's postseason. You know, it's our own March Madness. You never know what could happen. How about your thoughts on Rutgers with a 195.4? Kudos to them. I mean, after yesterday, I cannot imagine how the team is feeling. You see someone who you look up to. I mean, and Emily Lease is so passionate for this team. This sport has been so great as a leader and, and growing within her time at, at Nebraska. And to see her go down is gut-wrenching. So coming out with that score afterward, having some athletes step in and do some big faults, some big routines, it's really great. And I'm proud of them. See the huddle for Penn State, who will finish at the vault. We saw Mia Towns just a moment ago. So Mia Towns on the beam. Whitney Jenks on the right for Nebraska. Towns' career high is a 9.925. Jenks' career high is a 9.875. And off we go. I love to see this, that you have a fifth-year senior starting off beam and freshman starting off floor. It really is all about what your team and what your athletes are comfortable with when you think about lineup. Nice opening leap combination there for Mia Towns. An opening tumbling pass, front layout to a Rudy for Whitney Jenks. Well done. Illinois starts and ends with Mia's. Mia Towns in the first spot, the anchor, Mia Takakawa. Leap to side aerial. So tight on that landing for Mia as Whitney Jenks completes her leap combination and floor exercise. Series for Mia, back handspring layout. Step out rock solid on that. Rock solid indeed. Full 
turn, required turning element on balance beam for all athletes. And just the dismount for Mia Towns in the final pass for Whitney Jenks. Big double tuck to a perfectly controlled lunge. It was as best as she could possibly do in that first rotation. And speaking of best you could possibly do, round off tuck one and a half for Mia Towns. One of the best routines she has done all season and what a time to do it at the Big Ten Championship. Ken Towns top her season high of a 9.85. Maryland first up on the bars, Victoria Datsendorfer with a mark of 9.9 for the junior out of Marvin, North Carolina. A deep breath. She gets going for her uneven bars routine. Beautiful first handstand. Nice job on that Maloney to pack Salto. A little leg separation on the pack Salto. As a reminder, we're at a different angle here than the judges are. So they may not see that leg separation as much as we did. And a stuck landing for Brett and Elegance Turks in the leadoff position from Victoria Gatzendorf. We're loving the smiles and excitement from them over on Bars and Event. They really pride themselves on. Jessica Johansson, a junior from West Hartford, Connecticut. Career high, 9-9. First to go on the ball for Penn State. Jesse performs a full twisting your chinko. Just that hop backward on the landing, but great work leading off the vault rotation for the Nittany Lions as they continue on with their competition. Amelia Knight on the beam with a 9-9-2-5 career high. Nice opening pass there on floor from Hallie Rourke. And so great on floor exercise this season for the Huskers. Difficult candlestick mount there from Amelia Knight on balance beam. She's one of those athletes who Coach Natalie Walsh looks to as someone who brings so much confidence and focus for this Illini team. Switch lead to Elite. Work on the right set her career high this season of a 9-9. Final pass for Hallie. Big double pike. A little bit low on that landing, but she managed to really minimize the deduction. And speaking of minimized deduction, Amelia Knight with that very difficult side aerial back handspring going from a side element to a backwards element connected was so crooked. And managed to stay on the balance beam big for that. Maryland, Tasha Brzezowski with a 9875 season and career high this year for junior from North Carolina. Dismount for Amelia Knight. Gainer full to a stuck landing. Well done working through that routine. That was not easy to do. As Tasha continues her uneven bar routine, see if she can also get a stick. There it is. Nice job for the Terps on bars. But Nelligan is fired up as Maddie Johnston, the senior from Boyd's of Maryland. 9-9 career high for Penn State. The full twisting your chinko here for Penn State to a stuck landing for Maddie Johnston. Career high is a 9-9, as you said, Dean, so that could really challenge that career high for Maddie. Back to the floor, Box Sky with a 9-9-5 career high. Last weekend, she had a little bit of trouble on this first really difficult combination pass. See if she can get it today. Two and a half to a punch front. There we go. Well done. Working through that 
very, very difficult combination. Two and a half twists directly into a front tuck. Mentioned with that 995 career high for Chenge. Coming into this lineup was already so exciting for her, not to mention putting up these big numbers. On the left side. Oh no. Unfortunate fall there. Malia Byrne from Illinois on the candlestick mount unfortunately couldn't quite hold that position and had to put her feet down on the mat so that is a fall <gasps> oh no looks like she just slipped on her back handspring as chenge box guy finishes off with her double pike a hop forward good work for chenge working through that as Aaliyah Byrne. Talk about mental toughness. Having that fall first, really scary stop there on her series, and then to come back and do that is, wow. Aaliyah McGilligan, third to go for Penn State. On the vault with a career high of 9-9. Nine -nine. Full twisting Yurchenko here for Kalia. It's a little bit of a pike down. Couldn't quite absorb the landing there, hopped out of it a bit. But talk about a French freshman sensation. I mean, so great for her, and to see her being rewarded for that as the Big Ten freshman of the year. Sierra Condo, Maryland on the bars, career high, 9-9-2-5. Leah Byrne finishing off this routine. Round off double twist to a stuck landing. Truthfully, that might be one of the most impressive beam routines I've seen in a really long time from her, not what she wanted, but wow, mental toughness to the next level. As Sierra Kondo here finishing off her routine. Big double layout, just that step backward, but good work for the Terps on bars. So Sato on the ball. Well done on that half on front pike off the smallest little hop for Bella Salcedo. She's really been dialing in on these landings today. Back to the floor we go. Martina Comin, the senior, with a 9.925 career high. Martina is a total performer. Loves to dance. Full twisting, double tuck. Small little scoot backward, very slight. Great job getting all of those leaps all the way around. The judges are looking for where the athlete starts the twisting leap and finishes it. Show a perfect 360 degree spin. Jersey set her career high this year, but not not. Nice one and a half front layout. A full twist for Amani Herring. Just that hop backward on the landing. On the left side, Abby Miller for Illinois, the senior from Rochester, Minnesota, with a career high of 9.925. Season high set in her last meet of a 9.825. Full turn. Emma Silverman on the bars for Maryland, 9-9 career high. Back in the bar lineup for Emma Silverman. As Abby Miller with that great back handspring layout step out. A little shy of handstand for Emma. Let's see if she can find the landing on the dismount. A hop forward, excuse me, a step forward for Emma Silverman. So that will be an under rotation. It's 
well as the step. As Abby Miller continues through this routine, a little shy of split on her two switch leaps. Good control there on the front toss. Eva Piedrahita, last ball for Penn State. They're half on ball front pike and a big hop forward. I've seen her totally drill that before, so an unfortunate hop there, but a great overall day for Ava Piedrahita. Finishing off this routine for Abby Miller. Round off one and a half twist to a almost stuck, I think it was the tiniest little hop. But again, after that fall from Aaliyah Byrne, that was the person to go was absolutely Abby Miller. Sophia McClellan, fifth to go for Nebraska, the senior from California, set her career high this year with a 9925. Front double twist, good control on her landing. Nice extension on her jumps. Get ready for Caitlin Ewald on the left. I am a big fan of Caitlin Ewald on balance, being such a unique routine. Senior from Newburgh, Indiana, Ewald, career high set this season of a 9.875. Hold series here, one arm back handspring to a regular back handspring, rock solid. So difficult to just do a back handspring on the balance beam, let alone do one with one arm. Final pass here for Sophia McClelland. Rudy to a huge layout step out. That should certainly give her a great score as Caitlin Ewald working through that switch leap to a layout step out. Difficult combination. Alexa Rothenbusher. Ready for Maryland. 9925 career high for the senior from Fairfax, Virginia. Beautiful jump series on beam for Caitlin. Nice amplitude on that Jaeger release move for Alexa right down into the shoot over on the low bar. Shy of handstand there on the high bar. But a stuck landing on bars for Alexa. Just a small step for Caitlin Ewald, but again, after the two falls earlier in the beam lineup, they need this team to be great. And that's what Caitlin was. Brett Nelligan fired up over there on the bars. Emma Spence, last to go for Heather Brink and Nebraska. The junior from Canada with a 9.95 career high set this year. See Comine with a 9.9, McCullen with a 9.9. This is a fun routine, Emma. Takes the hair out of the bun, gives us the ponytail moment, and she works it. <laughs> Opening pass, front through to a double tuck. Lost a little control on that lunge there at the end, but danced out of it well. Emma Spence, the featured gymnast at yesterday's press conferences. Another double wolf turn there, this time on the floor. So difficult to do. Nice jump connection for Emma. with a double pike, perfect control on that landing. And what a way to finish things off for this Huskers squad.
Mia Takakawa on the beam. She has hit a 10 on the beam before. Season high, 9.95. Rhea LeBlanc last to go. The junior with a season high, career high, 9.925. Maryland is in a position, folks, to put perhaps the highest score in session one. Still a lot of math to do, but they have had a fantastic run here on the bars right now, Olivia. Beautiful job so far in this routine for Rhea. A little off on that switch leap for Mia, but the veteran she is completely made it work directly into that layout. Kaner layout step out and a stuck landing for Rhea LeBlanc. Brett Nelligan is going to be wanting these athletes to wear the Turtle Leo every time with this type of performance. Final piece of gymnastics here, back handspring to a gainer full stuck landing, just the smallest bobble on that switch leap. But I Mia Takakawa even makes wobbles look elegant. Well done for her. We're gonna come back and tell you what team has the highest score through session one and what athlete is the all around leader. Coming up, men's lacrosse, Maryland collides with Michigan. That's next only on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. Celebration for the Maryland Terrapins. They are the clubhouse leader through session one with a score of one. 96.775. Just edged out Illinois there for Maryland. What incredible news for them to be on top so far in this competition. They put in the work. They did great gymnastics. They really went lights out on bars to finish out the competition. But there's still more gymnastics to be had in session two this evening. And Emma Spence from Nebraska has the highest score through session one with a 39.45. So well deserved. Emma is an all around incredible athlete. Excellent score to go into the evening session with. I hope it holds and many athletes realize that that is the score to beat because she, she deserves it. That's gonna wrap up session one from Michigan State. Maryland, your leader in the clubhouse as we walk our way up to session two a little later today. Coming up, it's Big Ten Men's Lacrosse with Joe Beninati and Mark Dixon. For Olivia Karras, I'm Dean Link. You will see at 5.30 p.m. Eastern to crown a champion as we send it to Joe and Mark in Ann Arbor.